Hey there YouTube, it's MegaMan1 through 788, and I know I've been out of the action for quite a long while, but that's because these last two months I got a job recently. And, well, I try to upload stuff like I did with the Blackwing video on the new list, because, well, I saw that new list and I thought that was amazing, honestly, it's my own opinion. Anyway, I haven't really had the time that I wanted to, but this weekend, my first weekend I had off since starting working, and I've... I went to Locals, picked up this pretty sweet new mat that I got right here. And of course, I got a couple. Since I got a job, I figured I can splurge on some random shit. So I bought a bunch of Tales of Vesperia cards, and these are just three of my favorites that I have. And I also went and bought out a Spellbook deck. Got a pretty sweet price on it, got the whole entire deck going. I uh, didn't really get like extra deck wise stuff, but main deck got all that, and I got an extra deck, uh, side deck with that. So we're just going to jump straight into profile and, well, you know, most of this stuff is basic stuff, basic knowledge right now because Spellbooks have been out for a while. So we have three of the little blue boy, Battelle, Spellbook, Magician of Prophecy. You guys know what he does. And we have two High Priestess of Prophecy and one World of Prophecy. Next up we have three Temperance of Prophecy. Some people play two and throw in a justice or something, but I like three. Next up, what I feel is absolutely mandatory, we have three. Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyers. This card makes the Dragon matchup a lot easier, makes the Rogue matchup a lot easier, and, well, overall it's just a really good solid monster at 1800 attack. And for the most important part of the deck, the spells. Three Library of the Crescent. Three Spellbook of Secrets. Two Spellbook of Power. Two Spellbook of Wisdom. One Spellbook of Life. One Spellbook of Eternity. Two Spellbook of Fate. Two Spellbook of the Masters. Two the Grand Spellbook Tower. And to Spellbook Star Hall. For non-spellbook spells, we have Book of Moon and Dark Hall. So I'll round off the spells. And now for traps, we have one Mirror Force, one Compulsory Evac Device, one Torrential Tribute, two Regeki Break, and a single Phoenix Wind Blast. So, yeah. I've been playing this deck for the two days that I've got it. Yeah, I bought it yesterday, and I've just been playing it straight for two days, and Dragons, I pretty much win that matchup, assuming I draw good enough, and they draw good enough as well. I mean, if they draw the nuts, and they open something like Ravine, and they have the Sixth Sense, or the freaking Return from the Different Dimension set, I pretty much lose that game. I mean, there's almost nothing I can do. So... I haven't got to test too much against the Rogue, but I did get to test against Dragons a lot. Got a lot of testing against Dragons done. Some of the Dragoonity build, some the regular build. I even played in a, a Lad build, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, hopefully I'll come up with more videos, and since now I have some more time, well, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to have a lot more time now, since all the, the hard work is done for the most part. Uh, I'm going to try to upload more videos and shit. So, this is just for now, and this is Mega Man 1 through 78, logging out.